Let's, let's take a look. We're gonna we're gonna add this color sensor. I plugged this into three here, and I'm gonna show you. We're gonna test the colors, and then we're gonna ch test the uh, percentage of uh, reflected light from the floor to the black tape. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna push this up here so you can see it better. I'm gonna move this over one more, and then I'm gonna pick port view and then uh, the top ones are the motors A, B, C, D and the bottom ones are um, one, two, three. So this is a color sensor. So if I, if I push this here I can pick whether I want to just check color right? and if I push this over here you get a number and if I take this over to the tape if I put it on the blue tape I see a number two for blue if I put it on a red tape, I see a number five for red. So it, it tells me uh, what the colors are. I get a number one for black. And then I get a number six for the floor here, variable colors. So that's how you check uh, the colors. And then if I move over, push that button again, and then go up to reflected light, everyone's going to get different numbers for this. So this tells me a percentage of light reflected off the floor. So I get 48 for this floor, and on the black tape, I get 6. So you can clean it off and sit. So I get 6 for black. If I try blue, I get 9 for blue. I get 45 for this red. And like I said, for the floor, I get... 47. So you want to make sure you have this attached correctly so that this is just above the floor. What we're going to do when we do our light sensors at 50 now, different parts, 47. We're going to want to take our highest number for the floor, which is uh, 46 or 50, and we want to look right in the middle here of the black tape, and I get a 5. Then you want to take variables, so this is half and half. This is uh, 18, or I could round that up, it's 32 now, I get just a little bit closer. So if you look at the book, we have different places we place it. We want to write down these readings like it says in the book, so we know what our highest uh, reflected um, number is, the percentage, and what our lowest is in the darkest section. So that's 8 I have in the middle there. So 7, 8, um, so I have my brightest is around 50, and my darkest is around uh, 6, 7, 8. And then we'll take these numbers and we'll make the programs, and I'll show you how to do that on the computer. Okay, let's start by creating a program called Is It Blue? Let's save that project, Is It Blue? And then uh, what we need to do is step number one. Let's. Uh, Let's do it's on page 56 of chapter 5. Is it blue part? So step number one is to create um, or step number one is create the program. Is it blue? We did that. Drag a switch block onto the canvas. So we want to switch block. Right? So we pull one out here. And uh, we're going to use a color sensor, and we're going to measure color. And we want to step number four. We want to uh, click the lower section to blue. That's shown in uh, figure 520. So we pull that down to blue, number two. And then we're going to drag a sound block into this area and this area. We're gonna have this one say no and that one say yes. So let's go ahead and do those. So pick two. Then we're gonna come over here and get a sound block and put over here. We wanna make sure we have, we have notes, tones, files. We're gonna go under files and then we're going to, uh, we can, they might be here already if we've used them before. Under communication, 
All right, we're going to open, there's all these different things. We're going to open the communication file, and we're going to find no. No. We're going to click on that and click anywhere, so that's there. We're going to get another fi sound file, and we're going to make sure that's on play file. And we're going to pick yes. So once again, we're going to look under communication, and then it says yes. yes. So we have our yes and our no files. And then we're just going to go ahead and file save. And we're going to hook up our robot. And we're going to download it, and then we'll test it. So now let's run our Is It Blue program and see what happens here. We put this here. Yes. It says yes, it's blue. Put it here. No. No, it's not blue. Put it here. No. No, it's not blue. Here. No. No, it's not blue. Let's put it back here. All right, so it can tell us yes, it's blue, or no, it's not blue.